on the road. No, we're just here to see the falls, I told the Canadian official at the pedestrian border booth. Mark and I looked a mess, unwashed, unshaven hobos crossing from the USA, our plan to cut across Ontario to Michigan. A car full of teenage girls, all three of them in the front seat, had picked us up in Buffalo, newly minted drivers on a Saturday afternoon adventure in the parents' car. We tried living up to the role they'd thrust upon us, romantic, carefree hippies, not too tough for Mark with his long red hair and beard, flirtatious without being threatening, cajoling them to take us the extra 20 miles to Niagara Falls. We thanked them when they let us out, but they were just as grateful for the story they'd tell their friends. Okay, the uniformed guard said grudgingly, suspicion an occupational hazard, the long line of people behind us making it simpler to just pass us on. So we walked into Canada, gawked at the magnificent falls, then found ourselves at the Queen Elizabeth Way entrance headed west. We'd make Port Huron by sundown. But still, I thought longingly of those buffalo girls, how I'd like to go with them to that imagined party. <laughs>